As a crypto user, you may have to learn your ABCs, including technical mumbo jumbo that you may encounter in project white papers, websites, or even social media. So sit back as we break down some of the most common technical terms in the industry, starting with Node. A blockchain node is essentially any computer or device that is connected and participating in the network. These nodes perform functions such as storing data, validating transactions, and securing the blockchain, and can join the network from anywhere on the globe with an internet connection, which is what allows blockchains to be decentralized. So when Albert sends his friend Dennis 1 BTC, Albert's and other users' transactions will be added to the blockchain and broadcasted to every node so that all of them can update their database in the same way. Next up, we have a closely related term, that is, client. At its core, a client is a software that connects to and interacts with the nodes in the blockchain network. A crypto wallet is a great example of a software client, and they have other use cases. For example, if Albert has a computer and wants to take part in validating BTC transactions, he'll need to download a BTC software client that will essentially transform his computer into a node that participates in Bitcoin's network. Speaking of wallets, you may have come across the abbreviation RPC when interacting with your MetaMask wallet. RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call and is basically a communication facilitator such that it will allow a client like MetaMask to communicate with the blockchain to perform operations like viewing a balance, creating a transaction, and so on. One way you can think about RPCs is like your internet service provider. When you use a wallet on default settings, transaction speeds could be slower as most users share the same RPC provider. However, you can actually switch to custom or paid RPC providers for better performance. Next up, we have state. You can think of state as your age, in that you can be either 20 or 30, but not both. In crypto, state describes the contents of the blockchain at a particular instant in time. So for Bitcoin, state can entail the number of Bitcoins that exist, what account holds them, transfers being made, and so on in a given instant. Last but not least, we have the virtual machine. You probably often hear of EVM, which stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. But what is a virtual machine? As the name suggests, a virtual machine is a virtual computer that uses software instead of physical hardware to run programs or deploy apps, and so can have its own operating system, memory, and so forth, which is separate from the physical device that it's run on. So, for example, in the case of the Ethereum blockchain, all smart contracts are deployed and run by participating nodes, which run its virtual machine, the EVM. Drop any other common technical crypto terms you'd like to know about in the comments.